up my energies. Today is day five post Hurricane Ida. As you know, I'm in Texas, I'm in Houston. So um, yeah, I just wanna do some regular stuff. Like I wanna go to the movies, I wanna see Candyman. Like I just wanna do regular stuff. Everybody's like, you know, I hope you enjoy Texas. Um, I hope Texas treats you well. My expectations for Texas are so low. The bar is so low. I just need electricity and water. The bar is set like in the earth's crust for Texas. <laughs> like anything Texas gives me, I will take it. I don't have, I'm not expecting nothing. I'm not looking to, I want to explore, but I'm not really like, I don't know. I, I'm about to go get my nail done because this joint right here, oh, y'all can't see it. Y'all see that? lifting up this one is messed up if you're someone that gets your nails done regularly you know the pain of when your nail starts to lift whether you get acrylic or tips or whatever like this is acrylic over my nail but when it starts to lift or when it gets it's just painful as hell um so that's what i'm about to do today i have no other plans maybe run to walmart and grab a few things and come back here i don't have nothing major planned they're having a yard sale at the house across the street. So that's why I'm like looking up there. It's a lot of stuff too. But um, I do want to see Candyman in theaters. So I will make time to do that. If I can do that today, I'll do it today. Um, If not, I'll just do it sometime this week. But that's about it. I don't even know where to start exploring. Like, usually when I travel to a place, I have an idea of the things that I want to do. They're already kind of in my mind. This was unplanned. This wasn't something that I, you know, I did say um, a while back, like a few months back, I was like, oh, I want to go to Houston for a weekend or something. Just a weekend, not a week. Not something unplanned, not something like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm super grateful, like I said, I am. But I didn't have anything planned, so I'm not really, <laughs> the bar is low. The bar is low. I went to Family Dollar yesterday. That was exciting. <laughs> the lights were on. Like, I, the bar is low. The bar is low. Well, Texas, y'all get me at a really good time because I'm not here to be impressed by anything <laughs> that y'all have to offer outside of the bare necessities. So, yeah, I'm going to head to the nail salon. I have not yet been cleared to work, so you see where I'm at. Because if I was going to work, I'd be going to work like right now. I'd be clocking in at this moment. But I spoke to, my team lead actually called me and was like, you know, there, there was some issue with the system and all this other stuff. So she's like, yeah, I'm working on it. I haven't forgotten about you, but um, I haven't gotten the permission yet. So I'm like, all right, say less. I guess I'm going to the movies today. <laughs> I got an Icy and some Zaxby's in my bag. You already know. Because I was not about to, um, I was gonna get movie theater food, but then I really wanted some good food and I haven't eaten breakfast. So I might as well just get some outside food. So I just finished watching Candyman and I enjoyed it. Do I think it was scary? No. I don't think the original was that scary either. I love scary movies though, so I might be a little biased. But I don't think that there was any real horror. Like I wasn't scared. There was no moment in the film where I was like, like where, I, like where my heart skipped a beat. You know what I mean? Like someone that likes scary movies is kind of looking for that low-key like we want to be a little scared but I wasn't scared at all um the ending was really dope I enjoyed that and I didn't I, I did enjoy Nia DaCosta's directing like I, I thought she did a really good job directing the film um so I look forward to seeing her direct more films whether it be horror or whatever genre she takes on next so that's dope um but yeah, it was cool. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the film. I need to see, um, I definitely want to see Venom because they had the previews for Venom. I would definitely want to see that. Um, I saw the preview for 
the Eternals. I saw the preview for the Eternals and I was not impressed. I'm just like, what is this? Like, oh, we didn't we didn't step in and help save the planet because we were told not to step in, so we let the Avengers and all of like what? Who came up with that? Would Stanley approve of this? Because I don't know that he would. Is that something that really existed within Marvel, or did they just recently come up with the concept? Because I don't doesn't sound familiar at all. I don't really I don't really like it. The cast seems really weird and kind of just thrown together. Like I don't really I'm not really feeling it. I wasn't feeling it. I'm about to go clean my car now because this car is filthy and it's pissing me off every time I get in here. Uh, it's a combination of doing Uber all the time and just having people just like it's mud all in my back seat. Like not in my back seat, but on the ground back there. Like why? Why are y'all feet so dirty? What are y'all doing? Found a spot real quick. Real quick. They always I have to pull my Oh, did it pop out? Okay. I be pulling my mirrors in because these things always mess my mirrors up. Like it be ready to take my mirror off the freaking car. <clears throat> the last time I was Oh! It did it! Damn it! I hate when they pop out because I be nervous that it's gonna like damage my mirror. They need to make these things a little bit more um, gentle. Like they be so freaking harsh. My other mirror popped out just now. Now that was the easy part. The hard part is going to be park in the shade the part where i gotta empty thing everything out and clean my mats and vacuum that's always the hard part the easy part is going through the wash itself I recently bought this armorall spray with the last wash that i did and i just kind of use it on my um like my um my not leather because my car is not leather interior but you know it's a protectant to keep things shiny and nice. I don't think since I started driving again, have I let the car that I was using or my car go a full month without being washed. So this is like the longest I've gone without cleaning a car and it shows. So I'm gonna try not to do that anymore. Not even for like my, my passengers. I don't care about my passengers. <laughs> aside from picking them up and getting them where they need to be safely. I don't care what they think about my car or what type of music I play. Um, Cause more or less I get compliments on my music anyway. But I just want to keep it clean for my sake. <clears throat> I've literally never seen so many crows in my life. Just sitting on people's cars like it's nothing. Is that a thing here in Texas? They got a lot of crows. It's odd. I'm about to go in here and grab a few things. Try to pick up some groceries because I will be here for a week. And I don't want to be, <clears throat> I don't want to be like eating out every night. Because that gets pricey. I should have brought my portable smoothie maker so I could just make smoothies for breakfast in the morning. Because I really honestly don't be knowing what to eat. I kind of condition myself to have like, a smoothie and like two boiled eggs every morning so now that i'm here i don't have my freaking smoothie making i'm not about to buy a blender because that's dumb so we'll see i don't think it's fair that people that are vertically challenged have to deal with shit like this i just want i just want some honeycomb and this is clearly the the only way to get it Y'all see that? You see how far it is? This is how tall I am. <laughs> I could only reach Captain Crunch. 